Solve the triangle that has vertices A at 0, 0, B at 1, 5, and C at 8, 3. That should be a comma, sorry about that. So the first thing that rings in my mind is, well, what does this triangle even look like? Well, let's draw a picture. It doesn't have to be exact, but at least you know on the coordinate plane where that's at. Well, 0, 0, that's the gimme, that's A. And then it says I'm going to come out over here, that would be C, because it says it's at 8, 3. And then up here would be B, which is 1, 5. So here's my triangle. Now, what can I do from that? Well, I need to know the side. So in order to find the length of the side, I'm going to have to use the distance formula. And if you recall, the distance formula says what? Well, it says that you take the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So what I want you to do is I want you to plug in for each one of our sides into this formula and determine the length of each side and then come back and check your answers. So welcome back. Here's the values that you found for A, A, B, B, C, and C, A. So those are going to be your lengths. So I'm going to go ahead and put little pink boxes around them so that we don't lose them because you know we're going to have to use those otherwise it would have been pointless to do that. So how exactly are we going to use that? Well, now that we have side, 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 we can use the law of cosines to find the largest angle. So now which of those is the greatest? Well, that's going to be the square root of 73. So I'm going to use that with the law of cosines to determine the angle, which is what? Well, the angle for that will be beta. So what I want you to do is I want you to set up the law of cosines work through to find the cosine of beta and actually find beta and then come back and check your answers. Welcome back. So I've written out the formula for the law of cosines. Now remember we're looking for the angle beta because the longest side was CA or AC and so opposite from that is beta. So I worked everything out and I got that beta is approximately 85.4 degrees. So again this is something that's really important so I want to go ahead and put my pink box around it. Now, the next thing that we need to find is what? Well, we need to find alpha or gamma, whichever you choose, but I'm going to do alpha because I already know all my sides and alpha comes before gamma, all that good jazzy stuff. So in order to do that, we need to do what? Well, if I have a side and an angle and a side and I'm looking for another angle, I'm going to have to use the law of sines. So I want you to actually find the law of sines correct formula to find alpha, pause the video, come back, and check your answers. So I've applied the law of sines for alpha. Hopefully yours looks exactly like this, or at least the final answer of what alpha is is the same. So I got 58.1. So again, that's something really important, so I want to circle it in pink. Now the only thing I have left to find, I've got my sides, I've got two of my angles, is the final angle. And if you recall, gamma will equal to 180 minus what we got for alpha, 58.1, minus what we got for beta, 85.4. So gamma is going to equal to 36.5 degrees. And again, that's important because that's part of the triangle, so I'm going to put that in pink. So each of our answers that's circled or has a pink box, those are your final answers in solving the triangle that has the following vertices A, B, and C.